Hi, I'm Alex and welcome back to the Boathouse Paddle series where we talk about everything concerning paddle. Today's question is, how do I just create a simple payment link and let someone pay for my service? Let's say you haven't implemented anything, the product doesn't exist yet, but you want to figure out if someone's going to pay for it or you want to have early adopters pay in advance or you just simply don't want to integrate payments yet you just want to collect payments somehow. Well, it's very easy in Paddle, head over to the Customers tab and then hit New Customer. We're going to use a John Doe email address here and create a empty customer object. So this is basically representing the customer that you have. And then you go to new subscription where you can start an invoice for that customer. Now, you can, if you already have created product and prices in your account, choose those, which is what we're going to do. But you can also create new products on the fly here. We're just going to go with our standard annual plan. Then you have two options. You have the manual via invoice or an automatic method. Now, Manual is interesting because it creates a PDF and you can, by activating this checkbox down here, also include a pay now button, which if clicked will open a paddle checkout on your default payment link configured in your checkout settings. See one of our other videos on how to do that. And the customer can pay via the credit card this invoice. It's not a recurring payment though if you choose this method. If you want recurring credit card payments, head over to the automatic automatically using a stored payment method option. And you'll see that the steps here are, Paddle will create a payment link, and this is based on the default payment link, just like before. And then you send that to the customer, they will open that, a checkout will open, they will edit credit card information, and then this payment method is stored for future subscription payments. Now, one thing to note, you do need address information for either option. For the credit card here, you only need the country. So head back to the top. In the address section, you can select new address. We're just gonna say, John lives in Austria. And then you're ready to go. Click continue, confirm what you're going to pay or what you're going to invoice, and then generate the payment link. And this payment link here, you can then go ahead and send to the customer. If they do that, they will be redirected to your website where you have Paddle.js running. And here they can just enter their credit card information and the subscription will start as it is. I'm going to show you using the test credit cards available in Paddle. I'm just going to head over at this here. I'm going to call this John Doe. You just need an expiry date in the future. And the security code is 100 for the test cards. Now, if I go back into my account here, into the customer account, you'll see here the subscription has become active. If you haven't paid yet, it becomes inactive or is inactive until it is paid. And this way you are now charging this customer $120 per year for the subscription. You don't have to react to any of the webhooks that Paddle provides or you can do it when you're ready to implement your SaaS. But that's a very easy way to start collecting money for your product before even having a product or before integrating Paddle very deeply into your SaaS. That's all for today.